My head is turned totally, completely around. Yeah, she's looking at your dogs. Because she's going to eat them? No, 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 no. She's very, she There's wouldn't go after them. Oh, okay. They're... No, she I wouldn't. Would, they are omnivores, because they will... They'll they eat they, everything. They, they like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> She's good with me if he's not around, but if he's around, she goes into wife mode, and I'm the other woman. Wife mode means stay away. That means yeah. she's his wife. Lori, go sit in the closet somewhere. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, Taco, the Hans McCaw, is completely different. Taco, um, he loves us both. He's bonded to me, but he's not jealously guarding of me the way my gray is of me. All right, but the gray, did the gray ever decide you were gray? He's, he's fine with you. He now. adjusted. Okay. Yeah, it's been, it's been 10 years. It took 10 years to happen. Years, but I can handle him. And he still gets bit. <laughs> now, I can handle her. I have to be careful. I can handle her when Alan's not around. I can, I can give her a bath. Oh, she could. She's chomped me a yeah. couple times. You stick your finger right off. They don't, though. Oh, don't tell her that. Yeah. <laughs> she, she opens Brazil nuts. No. Oh, absolutely. But they're they're not inclined to do that. No. Now, are you? No. Is she tied to you? No, I'm just holding onto her toe. Why won't you fly away? Because I'm holding onto her toe. <laughs> Otherwise, she would. Uh, if you let she's, her go, she's she gotten would. away from me once right down here. She landed four houses down in an oak tree. And had you? Well, I called and called and called, and she's just looking at me and looking at me and looking at me. And finally, I called Lori on the cell phone and said, Lori, I need help. Bring banana chips. So she comes driving down, and she parks over there by the, by the museum, and she, as soon as she gets out of the car, she says, this one's up in the tree. She goes, hi! Yeah, see, I'm mom. I had the banana chips. <laughs> and so she started climbing down, but she flew out of the tree right down in front of a van across the road circled the oaks again and landed right there. See that two-story house right there? Yeah. The, uh, what color is that house, Lori? Uh, it's kind of a pale cream color. Yeah. Yeah. She landed on their upstairs, their second-story windowsill and just sat right there. We got a ladder and climbed up and got her. She was okay. So, Sh show the lady how pretty you are, Morgan. Oh, I'm moving around. I can't get it on camera. Oh, Come on, show wow. us. Give us a wow. Wow, all the way. Come on, baby. Give us a wow. Ooh, ooh, is she pretty. Wow, look at you. Wow. Oh, she understands everything. <laughs> In the morning, it starts with, want some breakfast? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what we wake up to. Yeah, and our Hans McCaw will fuss and scream, and she'll say to him, taco. Stop it, Taco. Just stop. <laughs> Look at she. Oh, come on. <laughs> One day she was screaming. She she was screaming just because she was bored. And and I went in there and I said, T Morgan, you just stop it right now. That's enough. And she looks at me and she says, Taco's a brat. <laughs> yeah. I said, Taco, nothing. She's trying to pass the buck on Taco. Yeah. So they talk to each other, too. They do. They do. Little Taco says, want to play peek a -boo? She goes, peek a -boo. So they'll start peek a -boo back no. and forth. And throwing kisses and saying, oh, thank you. No. <laughs> and they laugh. And, yeah, they, they're a riot. We have five now. You have more? Yeah, we got two more after the first three. Yeah. The Hans McCaws are about 12 inches long. Now the question, does she actually like to come out here, or is she nervous? Oh, she loves it. She's a little nervous, but she's getting very used to it, because I bring her out so regularly. And, you know, at, you notice she's not trying to get away. The day that she got away, it was manatee season, and the manatees were frolicking out there, and two of them slapped their tails. Oh, and it freaked her? And it freaked her, and she, she, I lost grip, and up over the tree she went. Yeah. Now, why wouldn't you have something more secure on her? I have a harness that I had on her one time. It took me a half an hour to get it on her. <laughs> and we went for a nice long two hour walk. Right. Got back home and took the harness off. I thought, hey, that's going to be great. I can take her out with a harness. Right. The next day I brought the harness out. She saw the harness and she panicked. Uh, 
She went totally bonkers. Yeah. So that was it. That was the last time we ever put the harness. That's it. And we researched the falcon jet. Oh, yeah. For parrots, parrots, obviously, everything we've read, parrots must be more powerful than a falcon. Than a falcon because they, they, they can do major harm to a parrot. They can break a leg. Yeah. Because yeah. we did look into falcon justice. We thought about doing that. I don't think they're more powerful. They fly differently. Okay. They take off and fly differently. So the physiology is something. Yeah. I can't ever Oh, yeah. She's really brilliant. You don't see too many that brilliant. I've seen other blue and golds. Yeah, she's really... And you get the indigo if, if you look at the back, the very tip. Because we don't clip her, see all that bright color there? Yeah. That would be gone if I clipped her to keep her from flying. You wouldn't have all that extra color. Yeah, because she'd be clipped. I don't clip my birds. All my birds are flighted. They, they, they can fly. Because you lose all that beautiful, natural macaw and gray beauty. Uh, uh, yeah. Plus, they like flying. Where we lived before, we had a screen fort they could fly on. Can she fly in your house? She has. <laughs> <laughs> We've got it on YouTube. <laughs> huh? Yeah, Fabricated Family 2. That's that's the name of it. Squish it together like it's all one word. Fabricated Family 2. T-W-O or the... Uh, the number 2. Okay. And, and you'll see her flying through my living room. <laughs> and it's a very small living room. But she likes being out here. She's, she's really good. We've only had a couple of incidents where she got away and we got her back both times. She comes back. Well, he, I told him, I said, this is really not a good risk. And he's like, well, you know, he thinks he can control her, so. He's, he's taking a chance. But they come out all the time. He's been doing this for a couple of years now. So, on real windy days, we don't take her out. Now, did either of you have heard this children? Nope. nope. Chickens. <laughs> I had a pet. I had a pet chicken. <laughs> yeah. Everything you can think of except birds. I mean, you know, parrots. Yeah. But... We were already married, <coughs> I think, <laughs> when I saw my first actor, African Grey on the old show, That's Incredible. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that I show? I remember it. I saw Alex, an African Grey, who they opened it up with, they showed him this little plastic toy car, and he was like, truck. And, you, you know, and he said it so clearly. And, um... So I was so intrigued by the beauty of this gray bird with his bright red tail and his ability to speak that I'd always wanted one. What do you think the affinity could be? I mean, would, would, would Morgan have to be, I don't know, in the jungle with her friends? Or would, or would, you know what I mean? Or would well, she's a hand-fed baby, so if, you, if she got loose and was left loose, she would be totally panicked. And eaten by some Yeah, she wouldn't know how to... Although, <laughs> she's very powerful. I've read experiences of um, researchers in the wild yeah. it's, um, actually witnessing a hawk coming in and taking a macaw, and in a few minutes the macaw returning a little ruffled, but none the worse for wear. <laughs> yeah, because they can take a leg off. When you're talking a beak right here that I mean, could do some serious damage yeah. to a hawk. Yeah. Well, you can open a Brazil You can crack a Brazil nut open, yeah. Well, that's what her favorite toy is, are, are wood chunks. I string wood chunks on some chains. Real wood? Yeah. Yeah. yeah poplar. Yeah, poplar like, wood. Crack, crack. Yeah. She turns it into toothpicks. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Toothpicks. We can make. We can sell toothpicks. <laughs> but there is one wood she can't. She can't chew up, and that's maple. It's too maple hard. hard. And well, she's. She, we have maple perches because she chews up the other stuff. Oh, the other <laughs> yeah. If we ever wanted to build her an atrium or something out of wood, it would have to be all maple. <laughs> It'd be the only thing she couldn't chew up. Now she lives in a cage. In oh yeah, she's got a very large cage. It's about um. By yourself. Yes. Yeah, she's got her own bird, cage. Each of our birds has their own cage. So we've got a, a room all set up with five bird cages and a TV uh, cable. And they can talk to see each other. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah they can see each other and, and they, they talk and play and Justin whistles. I'm gonna stop this for a second.